Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, using quick sort uh, using generics in C sharp. So let's get started. Uh, basically, I have a class called quick sort and it takes in uh, a data which is uh, of the array type but of any arbitrary type. So you want to specify it as a generic here T. And then uh, I uh, essentially have an interface that is pretty standard I comparer and uh, we would uh, essentially implement that interface and the constructor function for quick sort basically takes this uh, compare function and uh, what i do is once i get that compare function i store it in my local uh, delegate value and also the data is stored locally here and we just call our sort function zero through the length minus one and the comparison function is supplied by the client or whoever is calling this program it's called here so let's just see how the quick sort works. Basically, the way it works is you have two points. Uh, one is the low point and the high point. And as long as the low point and the high point, low point is less than the high point, what we normally do is we do something called a partition. And uh, I'll show you the algorithm that's pretty quick. And it returns a value called P and the partition is between low and high. And then we just recursively sort between low to P minus one and sort from p plus 1 through high. So just to give you an idea of what it is, is let's say if you have uh, these points, uh, normally we end up picking the last element as the pivot. So the pivot would be essentially 6 here. So if 6 was the pivot, what we do is we start from the bottom here and look at uh, see if it is less than 6. It is not less than 6, we go to the next element and we say okay 3 is less than 6 so we swap 3 and 10 so you end up getting 3 here and then you continue to find any elements which are less than 6 so the next one you would find is 2 so then you would swap 2 with the 3 so you swap 2 with whatever value was here actually here the value was 10 so it will swap 2 and 10 as you can see here and then a 2 will be inserted here and then we have no other elements because we go only to till the end uh, high minus 1 and then uh, we essentially swap the last element 9 with the 6 which is the pivot point and we get 6 here and 9. So now what you end up seeing is an array is essentially split up into two parts. Everything on this left hand side is going to be less of uh, 6 and then anything on this side would be greater than or equal to 6. So that's what this partition algorithm is doing. It basically selects the high point as the partition and then it is uh, going through this and it compares and then does a swap and in the end we do the swap with the last element in this case it was 9 and 6 and uh, to just to kind of see uh, show you in action I have put in a breakpoint at this point and this is really not needed print array it basically shows that after the pivot is done uh, how the array situation is so you can kind of see for the test data what it is doing and the swap function is uh, pretty quick and verify just uh, you can run it to see that the array has been sorted so that's pretty much the essence of quick sort and I'll show you how I'm calling it here basically uh, I just generate a random array of uh, input 30 uh, elements here is the quick sort and it's going to be integer so integer generic and we change the data to array and the compare function is pretty straightforward it's uh, going to be a func which returns an int and it compares these two values if it's equal to zero then minus one if it's less than otherwise it's one so that's what it is doing so let me just uh, start this function and see how it is doing so here is an example of an array uh, that i was running and i as i'm showing the pivot point is going to be 39 so if you would notice everything on this side is going to be less than 39 and everything here is going to be uh, so you can tell that if we were going to be sorting on the left hand side the pivot point would be 13 and uh, let me see if that comes up well so here you can see it's going to do the sort so the pivot point is 13 and then we end up getting everything less than 13 on this side and then more than 13 and so you can kind of see the various pivot points so you can put in a break point to see the pivot points and the break but you don't have to do that for now because you kind of got an idea so i let it go and here it is verifying that the array is sorted so the next array i wanted to give it a try is uh, is basically an array of characters and so we have a generic we are sending the characters and i just put in in the array gor associates and we turn into char arrays and the compare function 
essentially takes in the chars, these two chars, and uh, it will return the same thing. So we send this uh, function and we'll end up verifying. So let's just uh, run this and see how what happens. And here you can see all of those pivot points are coming through and then the array is sorted. The, the upper cases are usually before the lower cases and this is all good and everything is working. So hopefully you have enjoyed this quick sort uh, video. If you want to learn more, uh, uh, you can uh, go to my website and search for Java, Java or JavaScript or anything you like. Let's say you want to just search for Java, so you can just search for Java and find things related to Java. And here you go, Java part, Java main, JavaScript. And uh, so you can search for many other videos. Uh, and here I'm going to search for JavaScript tutorials for beginners and here you go. So thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.